excited to enter professional baseball and be drafted by the Rays. Drives it high and deep into left center field. Well tagged. My time in the minor leagues uh, was about six years before I ended up making it to the major leagues. And gone. Home run for Jared Sandberg. Put at every stop that the Rays had in the minor leagues, and it was, it was, a, it was an awesome time. His first in the big leagues. To get that call up to the major leagues, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was in Columbus, Ohio, playing for uh, the Durham Bulls, and uh, Bill Evers calls me like 10 o'clock in the morning and says, hey, I need you to get on a flight and uh, go down to Tropicana Field. You're getting called up to the major leagues. Exciting time, get down to Tropicana Field, play the Yankees in that first game of my career. I'm in the starting lineup facing Mike Messina. I came here as an 18 year old and you know there's a lot of people in the Rays organization that they helped me mold myself into the person that I am today. Uh, guys like Mitch Lukovic, uh, Bill Evers, um, you know, RJ Harrison, the scouting director is still around. So I mean there's guys that helped me as a, as a young man really grow up and, and be the person I am today. Jared Sandberg got loading on the first pitch here. bench was going, you know, they're all excited and everything, and I'm like, hey, it's just another home run, you know, just trying to be as humble as I could be, and um, then they're like, do, do you know what you just did? And I was like, no, what happened? Like, you just hit two home runs in the same inning, so I look up at the scoreboard, and, you know, sure enough, it's still the fifth inning, and uh, just an exciting time to be a part of Major League history like that. Way to swing it. The number one goal here is development, to trying to get these players ready for the big leagues, and um, I think if you can keep them focused on you know, trying to go out there and get better, work hard every single day, um, you know, good things are going to happen. The guys know that he's been there and uh, they know that uh, the, the things that he's talking to them about are things that they're going to be throughout their, their minor league or their major league career. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. He lets you just go out there and play, especially with his knowledge coming from the, being in, the, in Tampa, in the big leagues. It's good. Uh, I, I love playing with him. I really enjoy, you know, going out and teaching and, uh, and guiding these the, these kids like the, the mentors that I had before. Baseball is what I love. Uh, I owe a lot back to the game of baseball. It's given me a lot. Now, if you throw the bases, then we'll go one round of one, one round of two. He's very even keeled. He lets you do your job. He uh, invites your input. When you have a manager with those kind of characteristics, it, it makes it easy for a coach to work for him. My family enjoys um, you know, coming to the ballpark every day. I have two small children, so uh, they enjoy coming to the ballpark and, and being around baseball. So um, this is what I want to do, and this is what I've been doing for a long time. I want to do this for the rest of my life.